Hello, I'm John Joe. Welcome to Lime War. Today we have Crimson Giant, who's blue, starting over here, and we have Notorious Nubs, who's red, starting over here. Now, I'd just like to point out he's taken one of these territories as a starting one, so that means he's got the Energy Well straight away. But he's going to try and go for the ocean by the looks of it. We have a trade route on this island over here. I'll just turn off the fog wall, make it a bit brighter. Um, however, there is a second trade route. So we've got this one here that leads to this, and this one leads to this. So taking over this island might be a good idea later in the game. Probably sooner rather than later, as it's going to take quite a while to get there. Looking over here, we have Blue Team, who also has a trade route. And they're going straight in for that trade route. So he's already got some infantry over here capturing this territory, and he already has the docks set up. Now something I noticed the other day, if you click the docks, uh, you can actually start producing those merchant ships straight away. I don't know if they automatically do that now, but I know you could do it in the main game. So if they do automatically do that now, that's awesome. Looks like it's building something, so maybe they do. But I think it's just normal animation, so I'm not sure if they do. I think that was just someone being smart in a previous game. But that's a good tip to have. You can start producing these ships pretty quickly. The same way you build any of the other ones. You just click the structure and start building the merchant ships. So when you know you're getting a trade route, you can get started a lot faster by producing those ships. Anyway, over here we do have some energy on the ground over here. But we also have a lot more territory in the ocean like to grab that you can actually add to your eco and there's quite a few energy wells so I, it's nice to see these games where they've actually tried to encourage ocean gameplay when you've got an island like this both players are just going to be trying to fight each other on the ground and a lot of times the ocean is ignored clearly nubs over here has recognized the ocean potential here he's also he's already grabbed that territory so he he does know the value of it so I'm going to speed it up a little bit, probably times two, just to get into the engagements. Maybe a bit faster, they're quite far away from each other, aren't they? So we'll just speed that up to get them engaged. We can see that Nubs has gone for four barracks, fifth barracks coming out now. And one factory only thus far. He's got two towns, which is going to be good for their eco. Let's have a quick look at the eco. 500, that's for the Crimson Giant, by the way. We'll have a look over here. So he's got... The town and docks for eco and just these territories claimed. He's got two barracks here, an airfield and a factory. And he's already going for some ocean units. Over here there's a barracks being built. Now Nubs, his eco is at 550. I can't remember what Crimson was at. Let's have a look. 590. That's because of the eco boost I would have thought. He is getting some eco now. He's getting that trade route set up as fast as he can. As soon as this is built he can start producing the merchant ships for this trade route. It looks like the engagements have started. The bombers coming in over this area. I'm going to keep it on times two until some more of the territories are grabbed. Nubs is already on the anti-air. He's got some Sams on the field. And they are moving into position in this direction. I am going to turn the commands off. Let me know if you like the commands on or off. I like just having these white lines going across the screen. I can turn those off too, but I quite like those. There we go. We've got one going down already. So having those SAMs pre-built before seeing the air units paid off. And we are seeing a lot more of these bombers coming in early game since the update. They, I believe they unload their payload a lot faster, but they have less ammo, maybe? Or less damage per payload, I can't remember. Let me know in the comments and I'll pin it if you've got the information to hand. We've got some infantry grouping up through this section area over here, trying to claim some territory still. And there's one guy who looks like he's just been caught here. He's going to go off on his own towards these guys. There we go. Some more people are going to join in that little fight there. There looks like there's a bit of a massacre here. And my phone's going off. Just throw that out of the way. There we go. So we've got the ocean territories being claimed over here by Crimson Giant. And, yep, yeah, Nubs has a docks as well. So both players are going to be committing to a navy battle in this at some point. And the docks are being built over here for Crimson Giant. Helicopters are on the field, or should I say in the forest. Um, they're going to be trying to come over towards these enemy units, trying to take them out. Reduce the losses for his own friendly units. Over here, these 
Some units are under threat from this infantry group coming in. But the artillery and infantry combination are moving in. But we only have one artillery so far. Two over here. And Crimson Giant also has his own SAM units coming in now. Which will be beneficial against these helicopters. And just to point out, he does have energy wells on the ground here. But to reduce the threat, it looks like he's gone for the ocean all the way back here. But will Nubs get the scout here? He's got one unit sneaking through. He's got him on a blue command because he's ignoring those territories. So he's going to go straight for this area here. Probably spot the trade route that's already set up. And we've gone into interceptors for Nubs. He is going to try and focus on the anti-air in the air. And it looks like there's another energy well coming in right in the middle of the battle he field here. This is kind of a bit of a risky play there. I mean, the energy well up here, although yes, is under threat, this is always going to be under threat. I probably wouldn't have chose that location. There we go. The helicopter's coming over, taking out this lone guy here. There we go. He's down. But a lot of these infantry are in the forest, and they get a good boost in the forest now. I think it's increased on this one. So infantry and commandos firepower is increased in the forest to 20%. And armor bonus is increased by 20%. There we go. It looks like these destroyers were moved forward to try and take out these missile ships. But there's quite a few here just doing nothing at the minute. They could be taking over these territories, increasing the income for Crimson. But with the amount of battling going on right now, I'm sure it's quite difficult to try and manage everything that's going on. Not only do these bombers have to worry about the SAM units, they're being chased off by the interceptors. And one does go down for that. There we go, the Sams are taking out those interceptors though. I think two of those went down at that time. And these Sam are going to be under threat here. They're moving in to try and protect this group here, but just behind them is a lot of infantry and some artillery. The helicopters are moving in. I've just realised I'm still on times two, so I am just going to slow that down. And we do have nubs over here trying to take over he's got quite a few units and when they come into contact here there's only four from crimson giant nubs has about eight and he's got a lot more in the mountains here so when they start moving around crimson giant's gonna have to refocus his attention a bit further south but he does seem to have control in the north so it's kind of the same scenario for nubs i guess it's going to be whoever controls the middle and the energy well does get taken out We've got some territory here. There's a small group of infantry there. That's why they haven't been retaken yet. But they aren't protected by SAM units. And the helicopters are taking advantage of that right now. Is Nubs doing much with the ocean yet? He isn't. He's got a few missile ships in the water. But they're not doing too much. I think they are hyper-focused on the centre here. And Crimson Giant has spotted these infantry down here. And he's focused his air units that way. As there is no anti-air there. So... They're going to have free reign over these infantry. And these four units are going to survive a little longer with that air support. In the middle of the map, there's quite a few SAM units. But there's not much going on with units that will engage with each other. But there is just two artillery for each person. We've got one extra unit right here. But there's some more reinforcements coming in for both people. And the red player's got some units coming in from the south. They're focusing more towards the north there. Rather than the centre. And blue is focused towards the centre in the south a bit more now. And these interceptors were obviously coming in to try and stop these bombers. Let's have a look at the energy situation. It looks like they're doing alright. So Nubs only has one energy well by the looks of things. And is managing his energy pretty well. He's only got interceptors to use when it comes to energy. So that's not too much of a problem for him. Whereas, Crimson Giant has a lot more Navy units, and they are currently taking these territories, which is increasing his eco, but it is reducing his ability to use the air units. Not too much, though. But Navy units take up a lot of energy. We do seem to have a little bit of engagement going on here. Let's try and use the free camera Ow! once again. Try and see if I can get this to go really well. If I swoop down this way, we can see the side of this battle. Looks like Red Player is trying to run around. 
And I think Blue Play is chasing him with a group of infantry this way, which is going to work out all right because they're going to surround the red team a little bit. We have two forces from the blue team coming in, trapping these red players in the center. I say players, red units. In the middle of this fight, it's a bit of a pincer attack here. And reinforcements coming in from that side of the map. It's a bit hard to tell north, south, east and west on this now. <laughs> but it's over there, we've got a lot of red units moving in towards those barracks. But the barracks are going to help prevent those from progressing much further. And it looks like the pincer attack is being very successful. The units coming in from this side and probably not going to survive too long. But there is a lot of artillery there. And the infantry here are just going to push through against the distracted army. Alright, I'm going to move back into this mode because I do find it a bit hard to try and focus on certain things in the free camera mode, but it is quite nice to see it. I may go back into it later, and we do have some Sam just stuck here over there, shooting against these bombers. They probably will take a couple out if they stay too long, and the interceptors are moving in as well. I can see the white lines coming in. So they will do a lot of damage to these uh, bombers there. Over here, it looks like Blue Player has done a lot of damage to the Red's army up over that side. And they will be able to push further in there. But Red's got a few infantry units over here, which are going to move up this way. But if those bombers redirect their energy, those interceptors will be out of range. They will not be able to protect these Red units here. But I don't think Blue's too worried about that right now. Though he will be able to stop that quite easily. He's going to be focusing his attention here where he's got quite an advantage. This army is mixed in with a lot of SAM units. So it's actually kind of looks bigger than it actually is. Whereas most of these units are focused on the ground. With a lot of backed up SAM units behind them. They will be able to move in. It looks like these SAM units have come in this way to try and intercept the interceptors. Because they've been cutting across this area here to try and stop these bombers. But as I said, the bombers are coming this way. The interceptors can't reach that anyway. So they are probably going to just move in to take on the helicopters. One helicopter does go down here from the sand moving in there. The interceptors are en route again. They're probably going to cut across this section here where the SAM are. I don't know if they can see that. Let's quickly go into the bog where they can. So They did see it. It looks like they were smart enough to bring them around on a line command. And they've probably just deleted that now. So they're, they're going back anyway. Turn on the command, see what I can see. The helicopter's just moving in that way. That's all they are doing. Switch back over this way. So they've got a few commands going here. They're just trying to expand over the territory here. Cause a bit of havoc. Nubs doesn't really have anything going on over on this side anymore. He's got a few units trying to go through the mountains here, which Crimson can see. But this is where the main battle is going on. Let's turn the fog of war back off. And the commands. I have still noticed that Nubs isn't doing much with the ocean just yet. And although Crimson is going with the ocean, he doesn't have to worry too much. He's just trying to take over some territories for now. But there is a lot of interceptors. We even have an airstrip just there. To bring the interceptors closer to the main fight, which I know we've been looking at for a while. I just realized it's an airstrip and not an airfield. The bombers over here, we've got five of them. So that's a full airfield of them. And they're coming straight over this area, which does have Sam in there. And we are seeing a lot more infantry on the ground in this area by Crimson Giant. I feel like Crimson Giant should be a red player because he's crimson. But it's a bit weird calling the blue player crimson. Over in this section, we are seeing a few artillery building up. There's a lot of SAM units on the ground here. I know that the SAM over uh, the air units from Red Player are a big threat, usually the helicopters, but most of these units are just interceptors. So if he should be building less SAM units now. Nope, they still are building SAM units. I would probably turn that off at this point because we've got quite enough SAM on the ground to deal with the air units that could be a potential threat. And then you could focus your firepower on building up in this area to push forward even faster. The infantry are doing a great job of trying to push forward because artillery, although they're very powerful, 
they will just have to undeploy, fight, redeploy, and so on and so forth to get there, so they're extremely slow. Having a lot of infantry and a few artillery backed up makes the attacks a lot faster, which is why Nubs is struggling to keep them back at this point. But Nubs is doing everything they can to keep them away from the airfield because that is a lot of money invested in interceptors there. And you do not want to lose it right now. The Sam are moving in to take out this one helicopter, which is more than enough to do so. That helicopter will not last much longer and Nubs is struggling to keep it in the air anyway. I assume there's something going on with the Navy. Yeah, he's got quite a few units going around collecting some territory now. But these units are coming down this way, and if they, I think you can see the line coming here. They're going for the trade route that's potentially there. I don't think you can see what's going on. No, he's trying to scout out. He has spotted this now, though. So it probably, as he gets there, make sure it's not there. He's going to go for this energy well. Down on the ground, the force here is pushing heavily into this area. There is a lot of resistance here. I think Nubs will be able to push back a little bit. But the reinforcements are coming in pretty fast. So I'm not sure how well he's going to be able to push back. He does have a good force in the forest over here in the mountains. But the mass swarm of infantry that are focused in that area as well. Are going to make it really hard for these artillery and the infantry to push through. But they are going to be well protected in the mountains as I've said before. These infantry are going to walk very slowly in the mountains. And they're going to be even slower trying to attack these units. So the artillery are going to be high value in that area. It looks like the artillery here are able to shoot this airfield now. There's some here as well shooting in there. And that airfield is going to go down. Airstrip, sorry. And Nubs is pretty much out of energy at this point. The energy well does go down. That's what that noise was. As I said, they've checked this area out. They're going to bring those units down this way. Take out the energy well. But Nubs does have this one here, so he's not out of the game just yet. I do feel like if Nubs got over here, he could have set up this trade route. That would have been a good boost of eco. But it is easier said than done, especially when you're under a lot of pressure. On the ground over here, it's hard to just get that set up. It's Sam against Sam over here. They're sort of caught between two groups of Sam. Neither player is too concerned about what's going on there. Fairly equally matched, but the Sam here are moving through for Sam instead, so they are going to take out Sam instead. The helicopter does fly over, so that redirects their missiles that way. I say redirects, they're not firing their missiles at ground units. Over on this side of the map, we do have the artillery holding their ground in the mountains and the forest. Against this swarm of infantry, they are seeming to lose some numbers though, but they are building up some more numbers over on this side as well, so... I think Nubs is getting good trades there. They're just not making any progress. Over here, I think Crimson Giant is losing a lot of units, but he's also killing a lot at the same time. I think it's fairly balanced here. Killing the airfield was a key thing there when it comes to money, because those interceptors cost a lot of money to build. And that's a big loss for Nubs. And blue territories are being claimed in the ocean over on Nubs' side of the map. Those bombers have been left back a bit. There isn't really too much they can do right now. Anywhere they go, they're going to be hit with SAM units. But they could potentially target structures, maybe. I'm not too sure. I mean, there's a big gap here. You could just draw a line command going like this into it. But again, it might just be worth keeping them for a little while. Trying to wait for a weak point rather than trying to make one. Blue has retreated now. He's done a lot of damage. He's retreating at this point. I think he feels that Red's army is substantial enough at this point and it will start killing their units. <clears throat> Not happy with the trades they're getting. They are just pulling back, re regrouping and probably going to push back in. You can see they're stopping in this area. Lines coming here and here. So I think they are just regrouping for a little bit. Blue's units are coming through around this area. You can see the white lines. They're going straight for these structures. They know exactly what's there. There we go. We do seem to have a bit of a naval engagement. I haven't seen navy by this camera. So let's have a quick look like that. 
There we go. We've got a destroyer against missile ships. Three missile ships against five destroyers. They're not going to last too long. But it looks like some reinforcements are coming in from the other side. Those destroyers are just going to push through instead anyway. But I think nubs might be a bit low on energy. No, we're on nubs now, so... Anyway, there we go. We just come back out of that. Oh, the bombers have come in. They're taking over this main part of the army here. Some were a bit out of position by the looks of it, but they are moving towards that army now to take out these bombers. And we do see one go down right amongst the battlefield here. This one may get shot at again, but I think it'll be alright. There we go. And you can see that Crimson Giant has left the army in the mountains here. They are building defenses. No, they're not. I could just see a shadow here. I thought that was defensive line. So instead of trying to engage in this battle, they've gone around the fight instead, ignoring those mountains, leaving the Reds army in the slow zone. But Red seems to be building up a fairly sizable force here, and they're quite possibly able to push back. These tanks doing a wonderful job of clearing out some of the front line units. And I don't want to miss what's going on in the Navy if anything does. I think they're just taking territory from each other. It's kind of like base trading in the ocean. Without actually base trading. Territory trading. There we go. Now instead of going for the engagement here, I think he spotted the defensive line for the artillery. Which might be a good idea to just attack. That When they set up these defenses, they lose some health. As you can see, they're repairing that health right now. So if you go in and attack as soon as they start building it, you might actually catch them off guard and, you know, it could take them out. But when you've got such a small force not being backed up, I suppose it is being backed up quite a lot, I'd probably just go straight in for the attack there. But I think he's trying to hope to go round again. There is more forces down that way, uh, more structures, so I think that's what his plan is. And these destroyers have been left to their own device. They are now moving again. Trying to take the territory more than anything else, but they're going to encounter some missile ships, but they're just going to take those out pretty quickly. we got the tanks coming in, trying to cut off some of the reinforcements, but they will end up going down for that. That is a bit of a sacrifice, but it does allow this army to take off a good section of here without taking too many losses. And as I said, these infantry coming around this way, I thought they were going there, but they're not. They've got a good group of units coming in through the top here and from the bottom now. So they are surrounding Nubs, his little territory here. And this army has been forced to go through this area. The bombers are trying to defend this area, but there is far too many SAM units there. This would be definitely easier to defend or set up a defense for against the artillery and deal with the SAM afterwards. But I think he wanted to keep his main armies going towards the frontline fight, so he decided to use these bombers in this area. He does still have quite a few of them, so I don't think it's too much of a problem. There we go, the match has ended. I'm not 100% sure who actually lost that one. Depending on how the match battles were going, it could have been either person, how they were feeling at the time. They could have decided, like, blue player could have been like, I'm being pushed back now, I can't bring this back around and left. Or red player could have been feeling the same thing. I got pushed back, I'm being pushed again. But we're going to have a look at the graphs either way. So over here we can see that Nubs was struggling with the eco at this point in the game and it seemed to be dropping at that point. I would say that Nubs was feeling a lot more pressure and he was probably the one that quit. It doesn't actually say a winner. I can't remember who I was looking at at the time. <laughs> doesn't help that I turned the fog of war off. But I'm pretty sure Nubs was the one that lost that game. We'll have a look at the treasury. Both players had a lot of money in at the end. Well, not too much. It just looks like a lot because they never kept much throughout the entire game. Um, income, not base, because that's just normal. Income through land. Nubs actually had a lot of income throughout the majority of the game, but was losing it slowly over the course of that game. Blue player did seem to get more eco throughout the entirety of the game. And let's have a look at the units lost worth. So Nubs lost more value in units in comparison. But it's not that much different. I think that game was actually very well balanced. But I do think that Blue Player was doing a very good job at trying to keep the pressure up. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for watching. And if you have any replays, feel free to send them to me. You can potentially even just comment them or come onto a Discord. Either my Discord or the Lionwalt Official Discord. Anyway, 
There are two videos on screen right now. Feel free to click one and I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.